fellow fourth graders. Here's the number one. It's pretty cool, right? I mean, it is the first number. So that has to count for something. The only thing is, it's kind of small. And today, we're going to go big. Like, really big. All in one million! That's right. Hope you're ready for a long journey because today, we're going to count to one million. And we're starting all the way back here. Sixty six, three hundred sixty seven. This is my friend Kevin, and he's already started counting. How long have you been counting so far? Uh, about three hundred sixty seconds divided by sixty, and ah, oh, no, I've lost count. One. Okay, two, well, Kevin's going three, to be counting for a four, long time. Five, it would take six, two weeks to count seven. to one million. That sounds pretty boring and it would take way too long for this video. So I want to show you a cool trick about numbers that we can use to speed this up. Everyone likes a shortcut, right? First, we'll need a place value chart. Oh. So here we are with ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We'll start by placing one in the ones column. Now let's begin counting up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stop! Okay, here's nine in the place value chart. But what happens when we add one more disc? When we add another disc, we get 10. And when we have 10 discs, we can bundle and move them on. So now we have one disc in the tens place. But look at this. This one disc in the tens column really represents ten ones. up? So a disc in this column is worth ten discs in this column. We can say that a disc in this column is ten times as many as one in the column to the right. Ten times as many is a way of writing times ten. Now what if we count up ten tens? We bundle. Now we have one disc in the hundreds. So when we multiply by 10, we're just shifting everything one column to the left. It's like we're taking this zero and adding it to the end of the number. So what would 100 times 10 be? 100 times 10 is 1,000. We pop this zero in and move one column to the left. Now, what if we had this place value chart, 964, and we multiplied it by 10? What is 964 times 10? When we multiply by 10, everything moves one column to the left. So these 900s move to 9,000s. The six tens move to 600s. And the four ones move to four tens. Then the zero squeezes in at the end. 9,640. Awesome. We went from 964 to 9,640 in one step. We have got to show this to Kevin. 98, 99, 100. Whoa, Kev. Take it easy. You just hit 100? Uh, yeah. How can we quickly get Kevin from 100 to 1,000? Kevin, check this out. We're going to multiply by 10. That moves us to the Whoop. thousands column. Wow. Well, hang on here. Here we go again. Let's multiply by 10. Up. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Well, look at this. We made it to the next column. But we've never been here before. This one has no sign. So we've got good news and bad news. The good news, we get to name it. The bad news, 
we have to name it properly. What do you think this next column after thousands should be called? Mount Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Kevin. This next column after thousands, where we have ten thousands, is called the ten thousands column. Makes sense, right? To jump to the next column, let's multiply by ten. Hang on, Kevin. Whoop. That moved us one column to the left and added a zero at the end. But now where are we? This peak isn't labeled either. We've had ones, then tens, then hundreds, then thousands, and ten thousands. What do you think comes next? After ten thousands comes hundred thousands. Right now we're at one hundred thousands and we can see one million is one column away. Before we jump up there, can you choose the number sentence that represents the death-defying leap Kevin is about to make? Whoa, we made it all the way from one to one million in one, two, three, four, five, six steps. But uh-oh. Now we're stuck here. How are we going to get back? 999,999. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not just count our way down. We multiplied by 10 to move left in the place value chart. So what would the opposite be? How can we move right? The opposite of multiplication is division. And the opposite of left is right. So to go to the right, we divide by 10. So what is 1 million divided by 10? We know in multiplying, we moved one column and added a zero. So now we lose a zero and move one column to the right. 1 million divided by 10 is 100,000. Keep going, Kevin. This works for all numbers when we divide by 10. What would 9,640 divided by 10 be? 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. 100 divided by 10 is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. That's it all the way to one million and back. What do you think, Kevin? Multiplying and dividing by 10 is a quick way to move up and down the place value chart. That's right. Multiplying by 10 moves us to the left and adds a zero. Dividing by 10 moves us to the right and slices off a zero. Now I go to one billion. <laughs> Whoa, I better go catch him. In the meantime, use what you know to solve these problems. I'll see you at the top. Great thinking.